Hey, this is Jason Law with World Compassion. Man, we just returned from Iraq last week and wanted to give you guys a quick update, just to have an opportunity to reflect on the trip. And I want to share just one element that really stood out to me. And on this trip, we helped host two medical teams, one from In His Image out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we're from, and another one from Dear Friends of Ours in Sweden from Word of Life Church. And it was two medical teams, our organization, coming together uh, providing medical relief to hundreds. I think we served 700 um, refugees on that trip. World Compassion was providing food and shoes. Uh, the doctors were able to pray with people. We had ministry opportunities with people. Um, just a, a phenomenal week that I'll even share more, some more details with you later. But on this trip, it was amazing to see people from different backgrounds, different cultures. We had Swedish there, we had Jordanians on our team, we had Iraqis on our team. We had Kurds on our team, we had Americans on our team, um, but we all came together around one common cause, one common mission. And it was just amazing to see that the culture that was developed from this team coming together. And although we came from the backgrounds of different cultures, different ethnicities, when we all came together around communicating the love of Jesus and the love of God to these people through compassion outreaches, Man, it created a culture of love, and that culture became stronger than the culture that we were in. And it was just amazing. This team of 25 people, wherever we would go, we would bring a culture with us. And that culture was so attractive to the people that we served. It was attractive to the translators that helped serve the team. Matter of fact, one translator told me the last night that I was there, he came up to me um, after I actually got done talking to the team about this very message. And he said, you know, what you just communicated, that message you share, the reason why you guys are here, I believe this message is right. It gives me peace in my heart. And he's a early 20-something young Muslim man, but I just got word at the end of the trip, some of the team talked to him, and he really believes, and he now knows that Jesus Christ is the way, and he's working through that process, but it's as a result of him witnessing the team coming together and just the culture, the entire atmosphere that we brought with us was such a great dynamic. And so I believe that's the power of unity in the body of Christ, something that we see when we humble ourselves and we work together. Man, it just brings a purity and a culture of love that people are just naturally drawn to. Another element of this trip uh, was an opportunity for us to meet with the Minister of Interior, Mr. Kareem Sinjari. And I had a discussion with him on religious freedom in Kurdistan, including the freedom of Muslims to change their religion. I'm gonna share more about that with you in the next video blog, so make sure to be watching for that information.